Okay, <laughs> I finally got the uh, robot arm working today. So I'm gonna run through a quick little demo. So this is uh, an open source arm. It's called AR3. It's made by Chris Annan. Uh, he's the one that designed it and created some great documentation. And um, I chose to fully 3D print it, uh, mainly because I hope to design my own arm one day. And this project really helped me kind of understand how a six axis arm would work. And uh, definitely has been educational. So um, I also hope to uh, uh, also make some tool changing tips here. So this arm is gonna be for farming. So eventually I'm going to have um, a few different tools that are gonna attach the six axis uh, motor. And it's gonna be, uh, I guess the first, my December goal is gonna have the arm seed, water, uh, destroy weeds, and uh, also prune the plant. So that's my December goal. Uh, so yeah, so I'm hoping to uh, make that tool changing tip design soon and uh, It's also got a six axis, but I don't have that set up yet So I'm gonna run a quick demo. I'm just running through all the joints and just showing it working And I have a Xbox controller here to do that. So I'm gonna run through Joints one and two first. So I'm gonna make the arm go left and uh, or turn it. I'm gonna make the arm go, this is joint number two now, it's gonna go forward. And I'm gonna bring that back up. And then I'm gonna switch to joints three and four. Uh, so joint three, going forward. Joint four, twisting the arm. point there and uh, I'm gonna return it back and then go back to joints five and six uh, moving the uh, kind of wrist of the arm I'd say up and down and then lastly uh, twisting the wrist Uh, and that's a parking ticket up there just to display the uh, the six axis actually rotating. I get a lot of parking tickets. Uh, it's a fun thing about living in cities. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much all six axes. Uh, don't have seventh hooked up yet, so let me uh, just show you the rest of the build. So, the arm. Here's all the inputs. This is the six inputs for the motor, five volts for the uh, encoders and limit switches, and then uh, ethernet cables are for the uh, encoders as well. And come over here, we've got a safety stop on and off. The uh, motor drivers, some stepper drivers, Arduino, the Teensy, uh, relay switches, sorry, relay switches, Arduino, Teensy, stepper drivers, uh, big power supply. I'll eventually have a, a small five volt power supply in here too, which actually powers the relay switches. I don't need that right now because that's for the um, the pneumatic um, pneumatic ripper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't wait to make more progress.